Right then, guys, into another episode of the Derby Current Live, and we are about to go into the January transfer window. Um, as you can see, we are on the 30th of December against Peterborough, and there we got uh, the January transfer window. So hopefully, we can improve the squad because, well, we're not exactly where we need to be. That's that's putting it bluntly. Um, we look at the table; we're about eight points behind where we need to be. We do have Peterborough next, who are down in 11th. And if they win the game, then they go within one point of us. And we could drop down to like, I don't know, just 10th kind of thing. So it is a must win. Uh, we are at home. And we have got a bit of a fitness concern. Because obviously in the December period with the uh, Christmas fixtures, you do get a lot of fixtures. And, um, you know, we're going to have to rest up cash in. I think we'll just bring in, I think it's going to have to be Nelson, to be honest. Unless we put Callum Elder at centre back, that's the only other thing I could think of. Or Niambe. Do I go Niambe centre back? I just don't know if I'm a massive fan of Curtis. Do you know what? I'll give Curtis Nelson. Why not? Let's hope he can have a good performance today. Keep the clean sheet. Connor Horahan's also a question mark on whether we. Do you know what? I'll give him a go at Cam today. Let's see how he does there because we've not actually given him a go there. Um, and we'll rest up Mendes Lang and start Barkhausen to kick off the game. Go on, Wilson well. in the box. Can he get the finish the to start the game? Oh, the so, yeah, we'll probably look at some loans because I think realistically with the budget we've got, I don't think we can uh, do any permanents. Go on, win that. There we go. Michael Smith corner technique is the way we score. He is top goal scorer in the league at the minute. I think Dion Charles is second um, with about 14, 15. We're about six or seven goals ahead of him at the minute, obviously, because we're playing and he's a computer, but still, it's good that he's getting plenty of goals. Gordon Yambe, drive it forwards on the edge to Michael Smith. Tries to cut around the defender with the shot now into the back of the net, and there we go. Be very nice to end the year um, in that race for the top three, hopefully. And I think with a few lone players, we should be able to push the squad. I think maybe a cam and a straight basically a pace that's what we need we need a bit more pace in the team because at the minute it's a very slow squad um even though we've brought in Vyman to add to the pace penalty spot whip inside into the attacker and somehow the keeper saved that it was Andy Vyman with the header that's a great ball from Bird can he get around the defenders for his hat trick no oh. Don't know that pop back here. Eh? It's my birthday now. What a happy birthday, rip off Kit aside. I'm glad you waited all that time. I'm sure it's, uh, I swear it's more than midnight, in unless you're in like Sydney or something. That's where Melbourne, oh, talking about where the time zones are, and uh, Peterborough have made it 2-1. Uh, should be should be paying attention, not talking about, oh, when's my birthday in Australia. It's in Queensland, is it? Very nice. Oh, mate, how's how has that gone in? Like, the mechanics there are so dumb. Literally, like, I want to watch this back because, honestly, it's just so silly. Why is that, like... Oh, Look at the... Because I've put the tackle in with the ambe, he's had the shot. And it's like, oh, that's so jammy from Peter, bro. To make it 2-2. Um, go on, turn him, Waggy. Please get the finish. Thank you, Martin Waggon. That's why we brought you on to get us back into the lead. Just celebrate on him. Just celebrate on him. Don't care. Go on. Just give us a cushion. Mendes Lang to make it 4 2. Thank God for that. Jesus Christ. We win against Peterborough. In the, well, we, we, we won it anyway, but we confirmed the win there with the last minute goal. And um, yeah, honestly, over the moon. In the rain as well. I don't know if you guys play, I assume a lot of you play the but like in the rain just changes everything. With the way the ball moves, the way the players run. Watch them score in this last attack here, even though it's added time over. We'll just whip a great, great ball into the box. Never mind. Cool. 4-2 win against Peterborough. I will take that every day of the week. And we're now 
in the January transfer window so we can improve the squad. Um, hopefully, we can get some good loans in. Oh, hi there. I've just got a couple of questions Change about the tags. So probably people joining from Champs thinking whatnot. Um, how are... Oh yeah, because the uh, that got called off because of a medical emergency. Come on, fucking team morale, go time. up, go up. I'd be interested to see now if we. Uh... Oh, Embleton recalled. Oh, unfortunately, I've heard from Sundon regarding lack of playing time. I, I feel like you're playing plenty. Like, I was putting him in lots of games. So we have lost Embleton. That was going to happen anyway. Um, and pre-contract arrival. So we actually do have Ben Whiteman in January. That's really weird. That's I've never had that before where pre-contracts. Obviously, we did it before. That's new. And I like that for me because a lot of contracts do expire. Like if you sign a play in January, you do the three years. That's really good, I think. So that means you can get pre-contract signs midway through the season. Um, so Bardell's gone on loan. John Jules has gone back to Arsenal. So we've lost a couple, but we have got a very good holding midfielder now in uh, Ben Whiteman, who was more for next season, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. He was more for next season, but I'll take him right now, to be frankly honest, because we need all the help we can get. I think we just put him there next to uh, we get Bird and Whiteman. Good little combo, that. Um, obviously 27 years old, plenty, plenty of time just to, even if he stays at that rating for the next four years, I'm kind of happy. So happy days with that signing. Uh, we'll pop Fauna back onto the bench for Fozzy. Um, yeah, let's have a look at what the budget is now for the January window. We just need to look to get some loans in, basically. What have we got? Hmm, 29k for the wages is quite nice. I do kind of want to make this permanent for Michael Smith, but we'll have to do that at the end of the season, I think. Um, it's probably worth... I want to sell these two. If we can get any money for those, that'd be great. And then maybe loan out Darren Robinson, because he's not really getting any game time, unfortunately. Let's just have a look at see who's played the least, and then I can probably look to move them on anyway. But yeah, basically. Ben Whiteman's not even played for... Um, unless it gets rid of the championship appearances, maybe. Because he's moved midway through. That's the only thing I can think. Fozzy will keep because of, you know, it's Fozzy. Um, yeah, that's Curtis Nelson's ninth game. I think I will transfer list Connor Washington. Because he's just not good, really. One goal in 11 games. At least Collins has got four in 12. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's a bit better indeed. Um, but everyone else has got pretty much 20, 20 plus games. So like, I feel like we're using the squad quite well. Um... Like, basically, everyone above Rooney kind of thing. And then it's those squad players that are helpful. Right, in terms of our transfer hub, we have got a few names on here that we could look at. Um, I have added quite a lot. So, there's a lot of players to go through. Unfortunately, Oscar Bob has permanently moved to Southampton. So, I think we're going to have to remove him. Because he's not going to be moving. Uh, ben Doak from Liverpool was suggested and I think he'd be a good one on loan if it is possible doesn't seem to be possible Matai Vidra I'd love to have because he's the goat basically um, but yeah I think a lot of these players have had their contract renewed I think which is a little bit annoying but I guess it's fair just having a look at through what we could potentially get I mean, Johnny Russell on a per... Mm, I just feel like the pace isn't there anymore for him, unfortunately. Macaulay Langstaff wouldn't be a bad shout off the bench. For 900k, if we can get him from uh, Notts County, obviously just down the road. Not the most unrealistic of signs. 66 rated, you know, he's, he's not exactly um, unrealistic. But we'll try Matai Vidra first, I think. If we can afford him, then great. If not, we'll have to look for... Uh, Somebody else. Is there any player swaps we could do? Like Connor Washington. I don't know if that would be possible. It might have to be though to get the deal done. Kind of thing. Because I can only really offer that. I think. That's that's as good as I'm going to get. To be honest. They're not going to want Connor Washington. 
I don't blame them. Um, but yeah, 750k, I can't really. I'm just giving them a youth player. Maybe they want Diakov or something. Go on. I don't know if that's even enough for the wages. Yeah, it's not. Why, why is that? That's weird. I swear I've lost 100k somewhere. No. What about Michael Schumacher? Do you want Michael Schumacher? Well, maybe they'll accept that. Probably not, though. Um, right, we'll leave that for the time being, then. I'm not going to sign that Johnston, because he should technically be at um, Celtic, so it does seem like a bit of a cheat code. I just wouldn't mind getting Tom Ince, you know? I really wouldn't. But it's weird that you can't say Ben Doak. I feel like that's a very career mode -y. Should be able to do signing. Oh, we could get Patrick Roberts at the end of the season. Obviously, he can play at the cam or right wing spot. I think he'd fit in the squad quite well. Same with Patterson. Could look at... Um, he's not got the best of sprint speed. It's a bit weird. A lot of them just don't want to move. Like, look at how many are not willing to move kind of thing. It does seem like most of them are just unwilling to relocate at this time. Which does make my job a little bit harder, but I guess it makes it more realistic. And I guess Macaulay Lang stuff is more than likely going to happen. Uh, right, a couple of offers here. We have had a transfer offer here for Diakov. I'm going to try and get 800,000, obviously. Because that'll just give us that extra bit of money. Um, he's only just joined Blackpool, uh, Dembele, so I won't be able to get him. And there we go, 800k for a youth player that I'm never going to use. Happy days. Loan offer from um, Oxford. I'll just do a basically a one year straight up. Seems a bit of a mad... I don't know where Oxford are in this um, thingy. But obviously we've got the FA Cup next against Portsmouth, who did win it in 2008, I think. Somewhere around there. Um, yeah, Matt Avidra not, not going to be possible. Um, another offer for... He's from Cambridge this time. Might be worth just going for like 8.30. Because obviously he's already accepted that one for 800k. Anyway. Uh, right, into the next game against Portsmouth. It is in the FA Cup. And hopefully we can try a couple of different things just to see. Unless we just win it and then we get money, don't we? Yeah, it's probably just worth winning it and not really uh, messing up. So I might just try Ward in the team. Yeah, give him a go at right back, why not? We've not really given him a run out at right back. It's mainly been further up the pitch. I will try Sibley at Cam, though. And obviously Ben Whiteman coming in for his first appearance. To be honest, I didn't expect him to sign in January. I thought I thought it was going to be end of the season. Um, but I'm kind of glad that they've got pre-contract signs now that you can do for January. So that's kind of cool. Um, one to look out for, is, of course. But yeah, I think once we can pick up a striker... Basically, Whiteman's a really good addition, obviously, because being 75 rated um, obviously helps out a lot. We are trying Wilson at um, left back, because obviously left back's a bit of a question mark, but let's see how we do. Well, I pretty much went unbeaten. Unfortunately, we're not going unbeaten in this game um, at the minute, because we are losing to Portsmouth 1-0. Of course, it's Colby Bishop, the Forest fan. It's got to be. I did. All, I finished all my games. So, well, they they you know, finish all my games for today. Any chance here, well. mate. If you don't tackle them, they'll just like pinpoint a corner and put that ball in. To be honest, I'm not that bothered because it's the FA Cup, but it would be nice to get the extra bit of cash to get through to the next rounds and obviously test us out against better teams. But yeah, it does seem like honestly, like. We're, I want to make it realistic, but on the difficulty that we're on, we kind of have to just sign the best possible players, even if they're not realistic, if that makes sense. Mate, off the underside of the crossbar for Andy Vyman to make it 2-1, hopefully. We can get the second goal quickly, and then uh, look to get the win. You don't, so anyway. Can they carve out a chance? No way is that just... Oh, it's in. A two -goal now. That thing is unbelievable. Like playing against Barcelona every single game. We have got our substitutions on now, so hopefully 
Get two goals and get back in it. So just give away a penalty in the last minute, it's fine. It's fine, we'll just test out Vickers, that's what I want to do. Yeah, good, good game. 4-1, and uh, that's us out of the FA Cup. I wasn't really bothered, because at the end of the day, we'll see who Portsmouth get in the next round. It's probably just going to be some silly like Premier League team and you get battered anyway, so you might as well just save the legs. And uh, focus on get promoted. You know, we need, we need that. Yeah, there's full-time. Colby Bishop with the hat-trick, of course. Right, transfer over here for Schumacher. A couple of them, to be fair. I don't think we'll be able to get Bendig, but he would be quite good. Really good acceleration. Good dribbling. But yeah, just, I don't think we'll be able to get him, unfortunately. But Schumacher has a couple of offers from Port Vale. And to be honest, I'm kind of, I'll just accept him. Because at the end of the day... Maybe get an extra 70k if you wanted to, but I'd rather just get them done rather quickly. And that does seem to be Diakov, I think, leaving the club for 800,000. There you go. I don't want to abuse it too much with the just selling youth academy players, but at the end of the day, um, I just don't like him. He's not a real person, you know. Um, so I just don't like that aspect. I could just bring in the rest of them, to be honest, from the youth academy and just sell all them. Could bring in the 52s, I guess. Yeah, let's let's do that. A lot to sell them because honestly, I might as well get the money. Um, because it's not really a money concern. It's more signing the players, like like the possibility of signing the players. That seems to be the issue more than anything. So yeah, let's transfer us all these. Is that Yaya Torre basically? Sell it him. Sell him. They're all decent, but they're just not what I want to do. And when you get later on in the career mode, it's just really useless as well. And there we go, there is uh, Schumacher leaving the club. So we've got about 2 million from those, well, 2 million in total now, kind of thing. Um, so that's good. A lot of messages here. Schumacher sold. Transfer for Wildsmith from West Brom. We'll be rejecting that. He's not going anywhere. I mean, realistically, if that kind of deal came in... Um, You'd have, kind of have to accept it. I will loan out Robinson for two years at Oxford. It's a good little loan. And there we go. There is... I don't know who that is leaving. Oh, Darren Robinson on loan to... I was about to say. I can't remember who else I sold. But yeah, two, lo two year loan to Oxford. Obviously, we can recall him at any point. But he does... He, it's just a shame he's like 57 rated. I think if he was a little bit higher, we could get him involved. Um, I think what we need to look to do now is get a new striker in. Because... It's essentially the Smith show at the minute. Luke Harris. Cam, 18 years old, from Fulham. I like it. I like it. How old's Vyman? Like 31, 32. All right, I think in terms of strikers, because I think Matto Vidra is not going to be possible, unfortunately. Um, it might be worth just looking at getting somebody such as a... Yeah, I just don't think we're going to have the money for him. I would like to, I don't know, can we do it now? I wonder if we wait a bit. Yeah, we've got two mil, we should be able to do it, actually. I do kind of want to bring in Macaulay Langstaff as well, because I kind of want to put Vidra at Cam, and then Langstaff at the striker position. So yeah, all those in, obviously. Transfer off here for another youth player. Can get up to 230, which they have offered, so I will accept that from Shrewsbury. We won't be signing... Um, Mason Bennett. Uh, Waggon we've already got. Uh, da, da, da. Right, let's bring in a very straightforward sign, I'd say, in Macaulay Langstaff. You can get him for 960,000. Basically, broke the record in non-league last season with, whatever, 34 goals. Which is ridiculous. I'm going to try and be sneaky and go for, like, 700k. Might be a bit cheeky, but just start the negotiations. You're not going to go straight in. It's not going to give you Liam Thompson, mate. It's not going to give you Liam Thompson. Let's go up to 750 then. Ooh, 860. I'm kind of tempted to accept that because it's, it's a discount from his market value. Um, 
So I think realistically, I'm going to just accept that. I'm going to accept that. I'm, I don't want to push the boat out too far because I'd rather get him than mess it up and not get him. Um, for me, Paul Mullins not quick enough. I think I think Macaulay Langstaff's got that 80 whatever two pace there. Really nice agility and balance for a player of this level as well. And it's like a realistic one because of ge like ge geography wise. Um, obviously not not so just down the road from Derby. So let's see what he wants in terms of wages. I'll try and get him on important, but I think he'll want. Uh, he's he's gone important. I'll accept that. But I like that it's a it's a League Two sign. He's gone up a league. You know, it's a realistic one in that regard. Three and a half k a week. He's gone two. He's gone two grand under his current wages. And there we go. We do bring in our new striker, Macaulay Langstaff. I need to remember it's Langstaff, not Longstaff. I know a lot of people call him Longstaff for some reason. Has he got a scanned face? Surely not. That's not... No, nah, that's definitely not a scanned face. Why have I just, like, not even said anything? There we go. They've actually fixed it now, so it does actually have... In, in Recently, it was had, like, Real Madrid kits up. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. No, do I want to give him number 26? We have got the number 18 free. I think number 18 for a strike is a bit more better. What rating are we getting? A B? I'll take that. Obviously, he's not going to be quite as good as Michael Smith, but off the bench, I think that's what we're going to look to do with him. And I think he can play out wide. So does that mean now that... Um, surely that does mean, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. Near post. Off the line. Thank you. Oh, Virtue with the ball through. With the shot and into the back of the net from... I think that's um, yeah, Gage. He's always a bit of a bit of a tricky one to deal with. And is a good ball though. And there we go. We do make it uh, one all in the game. It was a good through ball in fairness from Conor Harren. I'll just have a little go at him, and he has showed what he can do when he can do it. But like. Um, yeah, I think I think Langstaff will do well in those kind of situations with the through balls. You're right, Rasmus. He's a Perlo. Yeah, but I don't need a Perlo in the EFL. And there's Lang running down the wing. Go on. Have the shots. There we go. Mendes Lang makes it 2-1. Really lucky to uh, put that on his left foot. But I think he has got um, four or five star weak foot now, so obviously something I can think about. There's a very good one indeed. Good ball. Great ball from Horahan with Mendes Lang. And there we go. I have just subbed off Horahan. I feel like he could do a job at Cam, but there's be definitely better options. And especially with him being on, like, the most wages at the club, you know. I'd maybe not now that Whiteman's joined a little bit earlier than expected. Um, but here's the first touches for Langstaff. Hopefully can make an impact. He's, he's much faster than Washington, so that's that's one benefit straight off the bat. Going into Langstaff. Can he get a goal in his debut? He's doing all the right things. He just can't quite get the uh, the golden opportunity to score. But he has only had 30 minutes or so. And there we go. There's full time against Blackpool. Perfect time to blow the whistle, ref, but no, carry on. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, if they score it to ruin my goal difference. Big end, get out. Oh, what a tackle from what Wilson. They have got their keeper up. I don't know, why are you bringing your keeper up when you're 3-1? Like, I don't know. I guess a goal's a goal, but... There we go, we'll, we'll blow it on the edge of the box three minutes after the uh, two minutes out of time. Um, and there we go, good win against Blackpool. I don't know whereabouts they were in the table. I don't know if they were in the top six or so. Um... Yeah, let's see where we do go now with that win. Still in fifth. Oh, Blackpool were... Oh, that is a really good one, actually. Blackpool were above us. So it does close the gap. We're only four points now, um, which was seven or eight, I think, at the start of the episode. Do, 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 do. We've got Cheltenham next to a right down at the bottom, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's at 19th. Still pretty easy. Um... But yeah, we just we just need to get in that top two. I do not want to be going through the uh, playoffs. But yeah, let's see what the injury is to Andy Vyman, if there is any. Doesn't seem there is any. So maybe we got lucky. I'll just accept that from Salford for the 52 rated player. I'm proud of you, Connor. I'm proud. 
you're right, it's a big, uh, big puffer. Um, cheers to that, Ice Brown. Thanks for the kind words. Ooh. Oh, that's that's one of our thingy players going out. I think we might be able to get Mata Vidra now. Can we bring him back to the club? It's basically what this career mode is, is me just bringing back old Derby players. Um, we'll see. Yaya Torre sold. Another off here for Johansson. Which I will just accept. Take the money. Um, but yeah, let's let's try and get Matai Vidra because he is the GOAT at the end of the day. Where is he? 72 rated. There he is. Oh, hang on. Why can't we still get him? So it's been long enough for it to uh, let us put another bid in now because we've actually got the money now. Another offer there. We'll accept that. Oh, they won't be. Able to, oh, is that right, Cheeto? Maybe he got lucky. Maybe it wasn't a big injury. I, don't, I haven't really had any injuries though in the career mode, to be honest. Which I kind of want because we've got a big squad to kind of bring in players, but we're not really needed to. Um. Yeah, so so injury prone Calamo here. Why not? Basically, his contract was getting. Um, expired. There we go. There's an, another youth player out. Leaf. Take a leaf out of his book. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And there's another one. That looks like a bloke. He's about 40. He does, but he's gone anyway. Ruslan Vasil, whatever his name is. Um... Yeah, I think we'll wrap things there for uh, this episode on the YouTube channel. We have got rid of a lot of youth players, so we've got more money. Obviously, brought in Langstaff, who's a good striker. We'll probably look to get rid of Washington, if possible. Um, but we'll have to wait and see if that is doable or not. He's just not that effective, really. I would like Jake Rooney to start growing his stats, to be honest. I don't know why he's not moving. Maybe we need to get him off that weak foot training. Maybe that'll help, and then he can hopefully... Start going to in, into the 60s. Oh, yeah, next week. Literally, as I say, he's going up a rating. Brilliant. Um, I might just put him on that then. Because either way, he's going up next week. Get his defensive work rate back up. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. We are getting closer to the uh, top two kind of race at the minute. Now, we're only four points away. So hopefully you did enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Leave any suggestions for signings. And we'll catch you all next time.